Praise the Lord. Greetings to everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We wanted to talk to you about an important subject which probably you never heard of or maybe some of you have. It is a subject called God and the nations. God and the nations. We are living in India and there are hundreds of countries in this world. Every country is filled with people and they have their own culture, they have their own manners, they have their own government, they have their own ethnic groups. Uh, everything is different for most nations. And yet, uh, basically, we all are part of one world. One world with many nations, with many people, with many governments, with many cultures. How God deals with these nations and people and cultures. What purpose God has for creating and establishing such a diverse uh, culture and uh, people. God must have a purpose for it. So we wanted to look into some of these things. What is the importance of studying this, you may ask. Why we should study about the nations, God and the nations. First of all, we study it because we wanted to know God's ways with man. How God deals with people. The history of the nations provide us a great revelation of divine ways, God's ways with man. In Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24, we have a statement concerning God's ways with man. Secondly, we study this subject so that we could know the mind of God's history of this world. The mind of God in history, you know, we have... 6,000 years of history or 10,000 years of human history. And uh, there are many nations which came into existence and which went out of existence. What was God's mind about these nations? That again we can understand by studying this topic. Thirdly, to know how God's loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness operate in the world. We look around the very existence of such a diverse world with many, many different cultures and values. How such a world could exist. And when people commit sin and even genocide, you know, some people, some nations kill all the people of one culture how God is going to deal with them. That is God's judgment and God's righteousness, how God's standards are kept in this world. This study will help us to understand that. Even more than that, this study will help us to know what happens when man nationally rejects God's goodness and righteousness. There are nations today on the face of the earth which deny the very existence of God. The government propagates atheism. And the government teaches in their schools evolution and political philosophy that says that man is simply a material matter with a principle of life. How God is going to deal with these people who violate God's justice and God's righteousness and even deny God's own existence. And also, by the study of this subject, we can know the relationship between God's people and the pagan world. There are people who acknowledge that they are created by God and that they have become sinners. 
and the lord jesus christ the son of god came to this world to save them and then there are people who reject all these things even the very idea of god how those righteous people and these unrighteous atheistic people how they relate and how they operate in a sinful world this study will help us and also this study will help us to know what future events will take place and what's going to happen to the world how long the world could go like this denying god denying god's righteousness and the ethics morality and consider treat people as just like matters or animals you know one nation powerful nation bombs the other small nation and kills people hundreds and thousands even wipe away, away some ethnic groups think about hitler for example and the second world war how the nazis treated the jewish people the anti semitic feelings so people are interested what's going to happen to those people why god permits these things so what the future will hold for this world and also we definitely want to know what are the principles and the purposes in dealing with nations some nations prosper they last for millennium some nations disappear from the face of the earth some mighty nations and mighty governments and mighty kings they are no more on the face of the earth what happens to them why do they disappear we need to understand god's sovereignty in establishing developing and destroying nations what his purposes are in doing these things we need to know why the present political moral spiritual racial economic and scientific crisis there is a crisis in every area science is a crisis nobel was a great scientist he invented tnt but see what it is used for scientific minds they have created ak47 and other weapons very smart people the atomic bombs and the hydrogen bombs and the other kinds of now biological warfare is going you know we definitely wanted to know where this crisis will head to there is financial crisis in the world stock markets look at them and uh, the devaluation of our own rupee it cannot stand against the dollar look at sri lanka what is happening there people don't have petrol they don't have food they don't have money so such crisis look at ukraine what is happening so this sort of questions are in our mind and this study will help us to get answers to these questions what prophetic significance how these developments for the end time events the bible very clearly says about the lord's return taking away the church from this world and also seven years of great tribulation period nations coming in conflict the jewish people being persecuted and many many things like that there is the great armageddon the gog magog battle but what is the end of it is satan going to be successful are god's people going to be successful the bible promises about a millennial kingdom is that going to be established seems like god's kingdom of today is in danger as people see it look at the moral fiber of the uh, world you know it's gone adultery is no more a sin homosexuality is no more a sin 
and you know all kinds of moral problems euthanasia kill mercy killings no more a problem abortion is very wide and you know, when we have such things approved by governments where the world is heading to so we have many questions and this study will hopefully help us to find answers to some of these questions these are very reasonable questions we need to ask these questions but we also need answers for these questions if we ourselves do not correct our own mistakes how are we going to survive what's going to happen our future generations our children and great great grandchildren this world could be destroyed at any time all that is required is one of these great nations just drop their bombs and humanity will be wiped out man is always under fear now covid for example look at it who invented it how it came lakhs of people are killed lakhs of people every nation there is no nation on the face of the earth that was spared by covid covid is not at over what next is the question in the mind of the people how long we can keep violating the moral and ethical principles of god economic crisis political crisis there are all kinds of racial crisis there is black and white problem there is in sri lanka there is tamilian and sinhalese problems even in india there is definitely racial problems every country has problems it's foolishness and naive to say that no we have no problem there are problems everywhere people are afraid our girls and women are not free to walk in the streets after 6 o'clock in the evening there may be exceptions in some villages but generally in the mega cities they are not safe they are kidnapped and taken away they are raped they are abused human parts are on sale human trafficking is everywhere we are living in a dangerous world one nation competing with another nation in inventing new methods of crime new methods of crime every day you know people are arrested for new methods of crime for killing people for robbing people yes parents are afraid of their children brothers are afraid of their brothers masters are afraid of their servants wives are afraid of their husbands why because we see killing everywhere killing everywhere suicide is increasing the drug culture for example is increasing new and new drugs are invented they are experimenting every day and to create a new drugs that gives a bigger kick smaller amount and bigger effect what these things will cost to our mind our young people they are very intelligent now the it field for example new new inventions but a lot of these young people are addicted to drugs their intellectual capacities are going to be drained and become useless because of their addiction to drugs and alcohol all these problems are there so the study of this subject definitely is important we need to know where the world stands how it relates to god is god in control of the world is he the sovereign monarch is he the king of kings and the lord of lords or he has lost control over the world the church is under exploitation and persecution everywhere in the world christians are persecuted there are few christian countries where christians are free except that even they are the non believers 
ആർ റേസിംഗ് ദിയർ ഹ്യൂ ആൻഡ് ക്രൈ അഗൻസ്റ്റ് ക്രിസ്ത്യൻസ് വായ് വായ് ദ വേൾഡ് ഇസ് ഇൻ വാണ്ട് മോറൽ പീപ്പിൾ സ്പിരിച്വൽ പീപ്പിൾ പീപ്പിൾ എത്തിക്കൽ പീപ്പിൾ ബിക്കോസ് ദേ വാണ്ട് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ വേൾഡ് വെയർ പീപ്പിൾ ക്യാൻ കമ്മിറ്റ് സിൻ വിത്തൌട്ട് ദിയർ കോൺഷ്യൻസ് ബീങ് ഹെർട്ട് ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ദേ വാണ്ട് ദ ഷുഡ് ബി ഫ്രീ ടു ഡു വാട്ട് ദേ വാണ്ട് ഫ്രീ ലൈക്ക് എ ഗൂസ് ഇൻ എ ബുഷ് യെസ് ഗാഡ് ഈസ് കൺസേൺഡ് ഗാഡ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് മാൻ ഇൻ ഹിസ് ഓൺ ഇമേജ് ഗാഡ് വാണ്ട്സ് ടു ഹാവ് ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് വിത്ത് മാൻ ഗാഡ് വാണ്ട്സ് മാൻ ടു അബേ ഹിം വർഷിപ്പ് ഹിം അഡോർ ഹിം മാൻ വാസ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ഫോർ എ പർപ്പസ് ഗാഡ് മേഡ് ദിസ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വേൾഡ് and handed it over to man for its day to day management but see what man has made out of it he destroyed the present world people talk about environmental problem yes there is there is the ozone layer it is destroyed so the climatic changes are there very dangerous death rays are reaching the earth from the outer space because the ozone layer is gone we are in danger of dying with cancer cancer is already making an havoc people really do not know why cancer come but yet we know that it's an environmental problem also if that's the case then the environment is not in improving it's not improving every day the environment being killed people are talking against it but nothing is happening why we ask is not god concerned about these things when we study about god and the nations we know why these things are happening and where the world is heading to so i hope that this study will help us to understand some of these great great truths